Hey, so this is a video to outline the printing and submission process for uh, mixes here in Hybrid Mix Lab. And this specifically applies to post mix number one, but I think it applies to other projects as well. So we're gonna do the printing and prep and upload. So, you know, when you're ready with your mix, and this particular mix is a minute long, um, you're gonna wanna print it to your print track. I'm only gonna print a slight amount of it. We've been monitoring through this print track all along. It's been an input. Later assignments, you'll have bus compression on the master and you'll be using the master fader. But let's just print a little tiny bit of it and we'll, we'll do our, our print here. So we're gonna record it. So I'm arming that track and we will print that component. Come on, print. Why is it not printing? It wasn't letting me do the macro this there. Is perhaps the greatest and archaeological discovery. so I've just printed the mix, right? So we're going to pretend that that was the entire mix to keep this video nice and short. So you've got the mix printed in here, and this will let me, your teacher, open it up and hear what the mix sounded like at the time of print. If you have any issues with plugins, that sort of thing, I'll at least be able to hear what was there okay cool so now we're just going to save this entire session and upload it to the google drive but there's a couple steps a long way first we'll take this out of record um you <coughs> want to prepare in these post-production projects oftentimes you'll be importing lots of audio files from lots of places and mistakes can happen in those audio files may not actually end up in the audio files folder that accompanies your your Pro Tools session. Everything should be in this audio files folder and everything should be in the video files folder, but often a mistake is made and stuff is elsewhere. And so this next step protects you from it. What you do is you use file, save copy in, and I recommend you, uh, and you need to collect all audio files and make sure you click movie slash video files. This is what a big mistake most students make. This is the place that you would change sample rate, bit depth, all sorts of things else. But if you do these things right here, you're gonna exactly what this session here is, a new copy is going to be made somewhere with all its audio files. So I say, okay. And we're gonna wanna locate this somewhere outside of your current folder. You don't want a pile of extra things within your folder. So in this case, although I generally recommend do not use a desktop for anything, this is a time where I would use the desktop. So I'm gonna to go to my desktop and I'm going to name it. And you need to name it specifically as, as requested, just like the assignment itself had a, a, a very specific name. Um, it, you're going to, earlier when you named the Pro Tools session, you need to name it the same thing now. So it needs to be called post mix to your last name, your first name. So I would take over here and I would name it that. And uh, that's kind of ridiculous. So I would say Ferguson Eric. Fer, there's a Y in there. Ferguson Eric. At this point, I hit save. It's going to take a moment. This particular file is very short because there's not a lot of audio files. I'm now going to do one final save on this. And this is the one I've been working on. I'm going to close it. So I'm using Command Shift W. And now I'm going to go to my desktop. And I'm going to find that. So go to my desktop, hit the desktop button. And that's what I just made. And this is a, a good term here is this is a consolidated version of it. You can see there's post pick number one. There's the video file that goes along with it. There's all the audio files that go along with it. And this has nothing to do with the folder you were just working in, but you can open it up and it's gonna look the same, but it's now going to reference these particular audio files. If you open it up and it doesn't look for anything, you're pretty good. You're probably fine. And one thing I often do is over here is arrow down and I look show full path. This is optional and later in the, the semester it will not be, but at the moment, and you can always scroll down here and make sure nothing is in any other folder except the desktop. But anyway, you've got this condensed file, consolidated folder, I'm gonna close it, don't need to save it. And I'm going to now take it and I'm going to compress it for upload. This is another key step. So I'm gonna select it. You can right click on it or you can go file compress. So right click, compress. And at this point, it's gonna squash it by a little bit. It doesn't really save much space typically, but it, um, this does ensure when you upload it to a cloud service that the fact that you have a folder with a bunch of things in it, the things don't get separated and wonky. 
So in this particular case, it did save, you know, 40 megs, which is, you know, a little bit. And at this point, we need to now upload it to the Google Drive. So you need to open up a browser and I've got a browser going on here with all sorts of stuff going on. I'm going to go to my Google Drive. And of course, you're just logging into Google. And when you log into Google, um, you know, log in, username, all that sort of stuff. And where you want to go is shared drives over here. And you'll see a folder called pop up called audio mixes. If you don't see that, let your teacher know. This is something that, that anyone enrolled in hybrid has access to. And I'm going to open it up. You're going to want to find, try that again. There we go. And uh, find your semester, which is your typically only one there. So in this case, fall 2020. Find your class. It's hybrid mixing class. And then find your folder. If you don't have a folder for yourself, please make it. In this case, I'm going to make one right now because I didn't have one. And do note that you can't delete anything. And I, you may be able to re, I think you can rename things, but you can't delete things in this folder. That's how the permissions work. But there's Ferguson Eric. And uh, lastly, let's just double check and make sure I didn't miss anything here. Um, just upload your folder to the Google Drive and make sure it still has the correct name, Postmix 2, Ferguson, Eric. And I've got all these wonky things hiding in the background here. I'm going to bring up the Google Drive again, bring up the Finder, and I'm going to upload Postmix 2. So I am going to be grading from this. If the, your assignment is not in here, you may not be graded. So please don't procrastinate this step. Uh, file delivery is safe, con efficient, um, not missing file... <laughs> File delivery to your client in which all parts of the file are there is absolutely freaking essential in this modern business model of post-production and music mixing across the earth. That was just a terrible sentence, paragraph, whatever it was. But you get the idea. Please do this and uh, I will download it and make sure it works. All right, cool. There you go. That's the end of this assignment.